Hey guys, this is Tom Szynski at the Boathouse in Naples, and today we're going to go over how to properly cover your pontoon. This is a 2020 Sweetwater 2086. Uh, the importance of covering your boat is, especially if you're going to be away for a little while, is you know protecting the seats from that sun that's a little more intense down in the south southwest Florida region. Um, you know, really protecting your investment. So today what we're going to get started with is getting the bimini folded back and into its proper boot cover. That'll keep that canvas nice and protected and clean. So when you are ready to boat, your boat's looking sharp. First things we're going to do is just fold this bimini frame back. It's a very easy process. Just make sure all these cross members nicely line on top of each other. Every pontoon equipped with a boot cover. This is what's going to go over the bimini canvas and keep the sun off that fabric. So there is an anchor light. There is a hole already sewn into this cover, so just feed that right through. Now that I have the Bimini boot cover on, uh, we'll get started on the cover. What I like to get in the habit of is always putting the cover in your storage compartment the same way. One reason being then you know where the front is and where the back is. I always put mine in back first so I can walk the front right to the front of the boat and that way I can just get started and you really get in a good rhythm of covering this boat and making it nice and easy. So as I have, nice snap on cover here. Front's all ready to go for me so I'm just gonna walk that forward and then just kind of get everything mapped out for you so you can just get nice and easy snapped right on. It's really up to you on you know how your preference some people like to start let's say your docks on this side some people will start on the dock side here and work their way so they have a dock to step onto so they're not forced into the water side you know your lift may vary too I'm gonna work mine just from the front to the back based on just with the way this boat's staged right now. Snaps are very self-explanatory. Just gonna pop them on like so. And I'm just gonna keep plugging along so, so you can just watch as we slowly get this covered. And as you can see, the snaps are already pre-installed so there's no guessing, they'll just line up nicely for you. Nice little pull tab so when you do need to remove the cover, you just pull on the tab rather than wrenching on the snap. Another good telltale sign is usually there's some type of seam in the middle that'll kind of line you up with the vents, letting you know that the cover is centered. Another nice feature of our cover is this bimini top does not need to be removed to have the cover on. We have nice sewn clips that will wrap right around the base of the bimini top so you can keep this on while the boat's covered. So now we're to the part where we're gonna get the poles put up best way to adjust these poles it's really easy is a quick clip it's going to extend you pinch once the cover's tight I'll be under the cover so you'll kind of see the cover raise and get tight and once I get that position I just pinch and hold that pole that that what that'll do is help rainwater wick away from the cover so it doesn't cave in or anything on you while you're away for maybe a couple weeks at a time keeping the boat nice and dry that's about it guys you know it's uh Sometimes it's pretty simple, but if you've never covered a boat before, it's nice to see how that's done. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out and have a great day, guys.